Hey, what's up audio heads? It's your wingman Mac320. And for this segment, we'll be going over a set of full tower PC bodies. One from Thermaltake and the other one from Corsair. Also, as a bonus, I will throw in an Asus mid-tower PC, which I'll reveal at the end of the video. Now, as I said before, I won't be staging any computer parts on the channel as it takes up too much room. But I will give you an overview of what they can do and how it might uh, work for you. So let's go ahead and plug in. Also, as a side note, um, I'll, I'll, as I go along in making more videos, I'll bring more comprehensive reviews and uh, in on tech and audio stuff. So definitely uh, bear with so me. Start Starting with the Thermaltake, uh, we have the our version 900 Super Tower. This piece of equipment is large and in charge. It supports the various types of AX and TX boards and has a weight of 54 pounds. Its size is 16 by 19 by 29 inches and is suited for performance and gaming. This unit supports four USB 3 ports and high definition audio. Also, it has tempered glass, uh, which allows for you to see what is going on or just let whatever LEDs to, uh, that you have to shine right through. This module design allows for you to ins install various types of aftermarket pieces of equipment into the tower, like racks and panels and oversized fans. It also supports multi-loop liquid cooling. The quality of this build is as good as it gets before you start hitting luxury status with um, these towers. So perfect alignment. quality texture and sturdy for the job it definitely sounds like a sales pitch i know i got it so i would definitely recommend getting this if you have oversized gear for the oversized lifestyle for gaming audio production and video performance they recently had done a price drop down to 229 dollars i found this on amazon which i believe is a semi bargain as opposed to 300 dollars. there are also other models out there that complement this one but the 900 is worthy of sitting on your desk. Now, if you earned a bonus on your paycheck and you wanna spend on something nice, I offer you the Obsidian series, the 1000D Super Tower Obsidian from Corsair. The name is as it suggests. The clean exterior edges, a tempered smoke glass, and near seamless RGB LEDs that makes it the sheriff of the room. This allows for you to stream, perform, and game smooth. So double up on everything and dominate your studio powerhouse. It does support two systems systems, two operating systems on two different things. It has sweet cooling features that includes 18 fans, or 18 fan mounts, excuse me, four radi radiators, as well as standard lighting and fan control via the proprietary software. It also included our two USB-C three ports, as well as four USB three ports, totaling eight USBs uh, for anyone to both future-proof yourself, and it has backwards two-way compatibility. Oh, it also has French door style storage block and is a nice touch to keep, as well as few covers to keep it uh, seamless. To be honest with you, this build is a beast and is a good rival to the Tower 900. Both of these models are recommended when it comes to time to building your own setup when you're not out traveling the world. Now, as a bonus, I also recommend the ROG Strix Helios GX601. This one is not a super tower, but it is a mid tower. It still is, it still packs a punch as the other two, but in a more mightier design. The tower chassis is a full metal jacket. It's full metal. It has tempered glass, WVU side panels, and also easy clean filters, and it has a space for nine storage drives. Nine. That's a lot for a smaller size. It can hold, it can also hold four fans and only one radiator that goes up to 420 millimeters, which is a bummer. But you can install hydro cooling to keep the CPU temperature down. You can also install up to seven different GPU cars as well. 10 years ago, you could only put in two, so what a change of that. The Strix Helios is designed with multiple easy installation mechs um, to provide the smoothest building experience, even for all the DIYers out there. Keeping the rig clean is um, done easy with the dust filters and easy access to all the areas featuring integrated addressable RGB LEDs, or should I say mapping all, all, all the LEDs in the front panel that can be customize and using a des dedicated control button with the uh, software that it has and it can cast millions of colors and a range of effects that can be synchronized with a vast ecosystem this is the kind of pc that you also want on your desk in my opinion so yeah these three towers are definitely hitting the marks and is the product of advanced design and performance so if you're willing to check these out further uh, i went ahead and dropped some of the links on amazon but you can definitely find these in micro center or if you're lucky enough you can 
might be able to find them in Best Buy. I just might get some of these myself and once I get the time and the money for it. So if you like this video, definitely destroy the like button, drop a couple of comments and hit the sub button and hit the uh, notice on the on the bottom as well. So that way you guys are know, know what's going on. And if you have further suggestions for me to look at, let me know and I would definitely take a look because I'm a harsh critic. That's pretty much it for now and I will definitely see you guys in the next video.